If you've read Ready Player One or seen the new movie that comes out this month, then you've probably heard of haptic technology. Virtual reality tech that allows you to reach into VR and feel objects as if they're real. Now, this is obviously a science fiction tech, or at least it was until just a few months ago. There is a company that is currently working on real life haptic gloves and they're amazing. Hello YouTube, my name's Jake, and if you are even the slightest bit interested in virtual reality, then you've stumbled across the right channel. Right now, one of the biggest limits on virtual reality is how we're forced to interact with it. Currently, we have to use these clunky controllers that they kind of seem like hands, but they're not really. It would be great if you could actually just reach your hand into virtual reality and touch a rock. Almost anything would be more immersive than having to interact through something like this. Not to diss the HTC Vive controller, I actually really like it, but it's still not my hand. That's why when I read Ready Player One for the first time, it blew my mind. Because the virtual reality, the oasis in Ready Player One is so immersive because of its haptic gear. The fact that you can see and feel your entire body in virtual reality, from your hand to your toes, makes it feel like you're truly there. It's a level of immersion so far beyond what we currently have. At least, that's what I thought. There's a brand new company in California that has developed haptic gloves using microfluid technology that allows you to feel the shape, movement, temperature, and texture of digital objects in virtual reality as if you were truly feeling them. Now what this does is completely tricks your brain and allows you to be completely immersed in a virtual reality. And I'm, I'm totally against VR, just to be, just to be clear. I, I don't think it's gonna catch on, but this has changed my mind. The company that's working on these haptic gloves is called Haptex. And the YouTube channel, Smarter Every Day, which I will link in the description, recently visited Haptex in California to test out their brand new haptic glove. So in this video, we're going to react to what Smarter Every Day discovered and we're going to analyze it and ask some very important questions like, how good is it really? When will it reach consumers like you and I? And is it really something that we should get hyped up about? What's going on here? What do we have? We have our glove prototype, which is called Glens. You're tracking where the glove is Yep. in 360 degrees, okay. I think you should just try it. Think, just try it? Yeah, Okay. it'll make so much more sense to you. If you All right, it. let's do it. So the first thing you see here is Destin shows up at the HaptX headquarters and he first starts asking questions about how it works. How exactly does the experience happen? And the first thing the guy from HaptX says is, Maybe you should just try it. And I think th this is a very important point here because for those of you who are watching this video who have never actually experienced virtual reality, you can hear people, you can hear me try to explain what it's like. Like you look around and you actually feel like the stuff is around you. Like you can hear me say that. But unless you've actually tried virtual reality, it is impossible. Sorry, that was kind of loud. It, it is impossible to explain what it's like. So, all right, let's keep going. But before we go any deeper in the rabbit hole, it's important that we set up our environment to prepare to enter the metaverse. So if you're ready to clap with me, it's time to clap. And I hear lightning. Rain and, yep, so let's go ahead and stick your head out. And, uh... This is the exact moment I realized that they've done something amazing. I'm not a VR believer, but you can actually feel each individual raindrop in your hand. It's not wet or anything like that, but it's perfectly timed, perfectly positioned, and your brain accepts it. This is also the exact moment while I was watching this video that I started to lose my sh** because that is the coolest thing that has ever happened. Okay, maybe that's an over-exaggeration, but if you haven't been able to tell already based on how I've been talking about virtual reality, I absolutely love it. And this advance 
in virtual reality and haptic technology is so revolutionary that I just want to scream. All right, but let's keep going. Let's watch the next part. I feel like a kid. This is pretty cool. I can just touch all this stuff. Yep. When I finally picked up a rock, this is the moment where everything clicked. <laughs> Did you guys hear his laugh when he reached in a virtual environment, grabbed the rock, and felt the rock? Like, you guys have to understand that he is someone who does not believe in virtual reality. He thinks virtual reality is not going to catch on, which it totally is. Virtual reality is totally going to catch on. And despite that, the moment when he actually was able to feel a virtual rock, he couldn't help but laugh like a child. <laughs> That's crazy. The first time I watched this video, I started laughing harder than he was laughing when I saw his reaction because it blew my mind too and I haven't even tried it yet. Can I stand up? Yeah. I've got a cable here I gotta be careful about, right? Yeah, you're good. So obviously it's important to be realistic as well as excited. And when you look at this haptic glove right now, it is massive, like it's so big. And when you do VR, you have to put pretty much an entire box on your head to be able to see everything, but it's worth it because it's so cool. I have a feeling haptic gloves are very similar, but it is true that at the current point that our technology is, the current point that we are in development of a haptic glove, if you were to actually take one of these things home, it would be incredibly restrictive. Imagine having cords tied to your hands. It'd almost be, I mean, it's already restrictive with the HTC Vive that I have now that it has a cord attached to your head because sometimes you, you're spinning around and you get tangled up and things like that. So the next generation of HTC Vive is wireless. How close are we to wireless haptic gloves? Well, we don't even have wired ones out yet. It's just important to remember the perspective. Some of this stuff is going to be quite a few years out, but the fact that we're actually getting close to it is still extremely extremely impressive and extremely cool let's watch the next clip that is cool as mess man oh you can feel it walking around you're a genius how many different sensors do you have in the palm because i'm i'm feeling every leg 120. 120. The total glove. As you guys can clearly see, Destin is so impressed with what he's feeling while using the haptic glove. He has a spider on his hand and can feel every single leg where it's touching his hand. And when the fox was on his hand running around, he could feel that as well. I think anytime that you have a company or a new product and you have a non-believer come in who's already kind of hostile towards what you're doing and you're able to change their mind as much much as Destin's mind's getting changed here, you know it's a game-changing product. I truly think that the biggest limitation for VR right now, the biggest stopgap is the price and just the fact that not enough people have been able to experience it. So let's finish off here with one last clip from Destin and Smarter Every Day's video. It's way cooler than I thought it would be, I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't take long for your brain to just totally engage with it, does it? This is like way cooler than I thought it would be. I'm totally against VR. Just to be just to be clear, I, I don't think it's gonna catch on, but this has changed my mind. If this is something that's very interesting to you guys, I highly, highly recommend you click the link in the description and actually go watch Smarter Every Day's full video. After, of course, you subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel first, but let's quickly leave the neon black lights so that we can go to the outro. All right, so we have climbed back up the rabbit hole and are now back in the light of reality. There is so much potential in this technology that it actually boggles my mind trying to think about what it could really truly mean. It's actually really cool and I know some of you might be thinking right now, why would we want to trick ourselves into believing we're in a different reality when you know we already have this reality, we can already feel things here. And at least in my mind, one thing that I'm really excited about that, that haptic products could allow you to do in conjunction with virtual reality is it just creates so much potential for creation and, and experience. 
because if you can create an environment that not only people can feel like, like they're in through virtual reality, but can feel through haptic technology, think about the incredible crazy things that, that we could create with our imaginations and then be able to experience. But then also, there's so much potential in just like education and even like research and development, like being able to actually pick apart like cells and DNA and mess with it and feel it. It's really, really cool. It's so cool. Oh, get up and stretch. I just want to thank you guys so much for spending 10 minutes with me in my office just exploring something that I'm really excited about. If virtual reality is something that you're also excited about or you're starting to become excited about, I highly would encourage you to subscribe to my channel because here I play a lot of VR games and show you what they're like and review them. I also talk about VR news, like when new technology like this comes out, I make these sort of videos as well. So if you did enjoy this, make sure you hit subscribe so that you can stay informed and entertained about all things virtual reality. Also hit thumbs up if you're still here, hit thumbs up. Uh, it would mean a ton to me as I'm trying to grow this brand new channel. And yeah, thanks guys for being here. Until next time, do everything you can to enjoy both reality and virtual reality.